These days, a young girl can dream of being anything she wants, from a ballerina to a basketball player. Sarah Havesi dreams only of putting her two feet squarely on the ground. Twice in the last three years, she's come to America in hopes that it would happen. Health editor Mark Ricard has been following her progress, and we've all come to know this little girl and love her. She is a sweetie, dear. Three years ago, Atlanta's Romanian community raised the money to bring Sarah here. Atlanta Medical Center and Dr. Darren Newfield donated their services, and Newfield set about trying to correct what an infection had done to Sarah's right leg. It had stopped it from growing. Sarah and her mother came back this May, and Newfield thought he might be able to finish the job this time. The Atlanta Medical Center's physical therapy department tools a special device for Sarah's right foot. Yeah, feel that? In May, Dr. Darren Newfield cut Sarah's thigh bone and shin bone and gradually separated those bones to trick the body into slowly healing while lengthening the leg. And what we're looking for, as you can see here, you see that fluffy whiteness? That's what we call uh, just new heterotopic bone, which is forming in, in the fracture gap. And that's what we're looking for. But lengthening Sarah's leg can cause complications. It stretches her young muscles and tendons. That has locked her right foot pointing straight down. We're going to start with it like this. Yes. And then hopefully this is going to stretch out. Yes. Newfield tells Sarah and Mother Gabby that this device will gradually stretch the foot back to its normal position. And how's her leg? It's too long. A smidge. A little too long. Newfield can shorten Sarah's right leg a smidge as long as the bone hasn't yet filled in. You have to promise me you're only going to grow the same on both legs from now on, okay? You promise? Sarah's legs are now the same length, but she must remain in a wheelchair until the bone fills in. Uh, after four months, like, yeah, can four you, months. Can you wait that long? Yes, if I could wait this time, I can wait more time. She has waited 11 years for her dream to walk with both feet squarely on the ground. Special external braces keep Sarah's right leg stable while waiting for the body to fill in the bone. When that happens, four to six months from now, though, braces will come off and Sarah will walk like a normal 11-year-old, or she should. Her mother is grateful for the care and generosity they have received in Atlanta. Sarah misses her friends and family in Romania, but she doesn't miss Romania. She's starting, really, to like it here. And let's hope she's here when she finally takes that first walk, because we would love to see it, and I know you would. You followed her for so long. Absolutely. When they take the braces off, when she puts more weight on her feet, uh, we'll be there to see her take those first steps. Good for her. Yeah. She deserves it. She sure does. Thanks, Mark.